What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I'm going to give you what I think are the three biggest differences between the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. Most people think it's simply an overall size difference that sets these two apart. And technically they'd be right, but to make the size difference happen, sacrifices must be made. So the number one difference is the screen. Now they're both great looking retina displays, but the 6S Plus has a 5.5 inch screen that's 1920 by 1080, an actual full HD screen. Whereas the 6S has a 4.7 inch screen that's 1334 by 750. And again, both of the screens look fantastic, but the full HD of the S Plus is a must for me. The second is one that the average person probably has no idea what it is or what it does, and that's OIS, or Optical Image Stabilization. And the iPhone 6S Plus is the only one that has this feature. What OIS does is keeps the lens of the camera stable while you're taking a picture or recording video. So obviously it'll help when you're walking around and shooting video, or even help you if you have those shaky hands when taking a pic but it also helps in low light situations when you're taking pictures by keeping the lens steady while the shutter is open for a longer period of time. And then there's the third and final item on this list, and that's battery life. So the iPhone 6S comes at you with 1,715 milliamps, which Apple claims will give you 14 hours of talk time, 10 days of standby time, 11 hours of HD video playback, and 50 hours of audio playback. Where the 6S Plus smacks you in the grill with 2,750 milliamps, which Apple claims will give you 24 hours of talk time, 16 days of standby time, 14 hours of HD video playback, and 80 hours of audio playback. So for me and my large hands, the iPhone 6S Plus is the only way to go. But I do know a lot of people out there want the one-handed function over all else. So what team are you on? Team 6S or Team 6S Plus? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and make sure you subscribe for more iPhone coverage coming very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.